Hello everyone, so I'm back with another video and this too is a question from set practice test. So I think it's from number 7, uh, calculator section, I think that's it. So whenever, I, I've always told you that whenever you see two triangles then it's best to, uh, let's rub this, it's best to try and prove that they are similar but then you, uh, when you look at this triangle you easily know that it's similar so you don't even have to prove it. So you know, that there, there are three uh, equal angles so b is the common angle with b is a common angle so you don't even have to prove that d and a are equal that's given and e and c two are equal they are corresponding angles so yeah you don't have to even prove that you just know it by looking at it so yeah let's move on to the question in the figure above tan b so tan b is equal to three over four is equal to what is tan b so let's see so tan is p by b so perpendicular for the bigger triangle is ac and base is ab so it is ac by ab and let's look into the smaller triangle so that would be de by bd so de by bd let's just remember that and let's look into these two at the beginning so what we would get is let's see is this yeah, what we would get is 3AB uh, is equal to 4AC, isn't it? Yes. And, uh, yeah, so after that, 3 by 4AB is equal to AC. Let's remember this relation. Let's write it as 1. And the other thing that we have been given is BC is equal to 15. So this entire thing is 15 and AD or DA is 4. So this entire thing is 4. So we have to find DE. So we have to find this length. So for that, uh, since it's a right angled triangle, the best thing would be to apply the Pythagoras theorem. So for that, we need the length of this, this, in order to find DE. So we do not have the length of BE, we do not have the length of BD, so that's a problem. Let's look into the bigger triangle. We have the length of BC, that's right. Uh, and then we do have the relation between AB and AC over here. So that means we can find uh, AB, either AB or AC, whichever we want to. And I think finding AB would be helpful in this circumstance. So, or you can even find AC, that's your choice. So let's look into the bigger triangle. Let's move on to the next page and let's move into the bigger triangle. And let's apply Pythagoras theorem, that is BC square is equal to AC square plus AB square. This is just the Pythagoras theorem. And we know BC is 15, that's given. 15 square is equal to AC. Let's express AC in the form of AB, which we have already done over here. So it would be 3 by 4, 3 by 4 AB, of course, whole square, and then plus AB whole square, isn't it? Yes. So now 15 square would be 225. And this term, the first term, would be 9AB square by 16 plus AB square. Let's take the LCM. So 225 is equal to, uh, uh, let's directly add them up. So it would be 25AB square over 16. So 16 multiplies 225. And that would get us uh, 3600. 3600 is equal to 25 AB square. Let's move on to the next page. And then when 25 divides 3600, AB square is equal to 144. And therefore, AB is equal to plus minus 12. But then since it is length, it will always be positive. So plus 12. You don't even have to write the plus. So that's understood. So 12. So this is important, yep, and since AB is 12 and AD is 4, we know that, uh, let's change the color, therefore BD is equal to 8. Now, uh, let's see into the smaller triangle, so this would be the smaller triangle, 
B D E. So we know we know tan B is equal to three by four. That applies to small triangle as well, and that is equal to. So that would be perpendicular by base, isn't it? Yes. So we know that DE by BD, let's erase this and write here. So DE by B or by BD is equal to 3 by 4. We need to find DE. So therefore DE is equal to 3 BD by 4 is equal to BD is 8. So 3 times 4, 8 is 24. 24 divided by 4 is equal to 6. So there you go. DE, the length of DE is 6. We don't know the uh, exact unit, maybe centimeters, maybe meters, but then you know. Let's leave it as, as 6. So yes, the length of DE is 6 and that's the final solution to this question. Uh, I hope you learned how to do this, not very difficult, but can be confusing and if you don't get the right method, might take a lot of time. So I hope you learned how to do this and hope to see you in my next videos. Thank you.